Hello and welcome back to another video in the world of Monster Hunter and this is potentially going to be one of my favourite videos to do because it's all about the Kia Elemental Heavy Bow Gun and these things are actually really friggin stupid so the ones we're talking about here are the Kia Assault Rage, Water, Spark and Ice and this video is going to be over pretty quickly because it melts this Diabolos pretty damn quickly so we'll just jump straight into it now I do have two sets of builds for you today. This is one of the first ones, um, five piece Safi, and we're gonna go full elemental augmentation along with one defense because we've got that spare. And I'm gonna go over the custom augments in a minute. In the helmet, we have stream four, stream, stream, and in the chest, stream four, resentment in the gloves, resentment four, mighty, mighty. In the waist, attack four, attack. In the boots, resentment four, mighty, attack. And we're using the awakening charm. We're using three reload to get to the fast reload, a close up and a special scope. As for the custom upgrades, as you can see here, we're doing affinity one, 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 one. And then we're gonna go for attack because that's the only one we've got. And then we're gonna put that little bit more element on top. This does actually help out a bunch because the affinity gets us to 100% due to lacking in decoration slots, as well as then getting a little bit more raw and a little bit more element. Now, with all the Kyar weapons, they fluctuate between 10 and 15% affinity, as well as the Spark and Ice do have a level 1 decoration slot that we can kind of play around with. So, if you do want to use an element of a different type, other than the one previously mentioned, in which case you just swap around the elemental decos, as well as the weapon itself, you potentially end up with something like this, utilising just the straight up build we had beforehand, or you can swap out the two attack for two experts. I've gone for Rage because it didn't have a decoration slot, and it also dropped down to 10% affinity over the previous weapon. Now I do also have this, so we're going to be using the Kyar Salt Water again with an expert decoration, three elemental organs, one defence, and I'll go over the custom upgrades in a minute. Safi Helmet with Stream, Stream, Stream. Grand God's Pier, which is Furious with Jang, with Stream Challenger. Safi Gloves with Challenger 4, Challenger, Challenger. Grand God's Waist with Expert Resentment Attack. And Safi Boots with Resentment, Resentment Attack. And we're using the Razor Sharp Charm this time. This drops our overall ammo capacity down to 7 rather than 9. But overall, I feel long term, this actually does allow for more DPS because you do quite regularly get that one more shot putting in the three spare shots in total. As for the custom upgrades, we're going attack all the way up to number six, and then at the seventh, we're just finally slotting in that last elemental damage. And again, just showcasing a 10% affinity weapon with no decoration, just swapping out those two attack decos for two expert work wonders now overall both of these builds are pretty much identical in terms of damage the complete safi is 1.3 1.4% above the furious rejang variant however the condition of the safi is level 3 max might which takes time for it to proc whereas with the max might on the furious rejang it is instant the moment you hit max stamina so dps wise it is just edging it out anyway that is me thank you very much for watching have fun good luck and don't die it's bad for the health <laughs>